Hello everyone, we are starting our SP3 tutorial series. In this tutorial series, we will learn how to model an equipment and after that we will learn how to give structure to the model equipment and after that we will learn how to do basic pipe routing and how to give different different components while routing any pipeline. Without any further delay, we will start our today's video. In this video, we will see the basic overview of our software. We will see the basic options available in the software. Okay. After that, we will see the basic hierarchy need to be followed during any project. Okay. This is the welcome window which will appear when we will start your software. Okay. In this, you have to go to this plant option. After that, go to this metric option. Click on this metric and click on OK. After this, this window will appear. This window is the window where your or the equipment and modeling equipment will appear. Okay. This is your workspace where you have to give your hierarchy. Okay. For starting a new project, first of all, go to this file and go to this define workspace. Click on this. This dialog box will appear. In this, go to this filter and create new filter. A new dialog box will appear. In this, give name like this so we will giving we are giving name sp3d cute and uncheck this box here okay and then click on this site and click on okay after clicking okay click okay on this dialog box too okay now in your hierarchy this site will appear okay now these are some options available in this software okay first of all we will see this option this is the common views option. Now, our north is in this side and east our in this side. Okay. If you will click on this balls, it will show different different isometric views. And we, if you will click on these planes, this will show different different planes. Okay. Now, after clicking on this uh, ball, this is the north, this is the east, and this is the elevation. Okay. Now we will see how to create a basic hierarchy for any any project. Okay. First of all, click on this site and right click and after that new system and then go to area system and click on this area system. Okay. Then after that, change the name of this area system. We are writing some name SP3D area we are writing. Okay. Click on this OK. Now this area will be created. Under this area, different different units will come. Okay. Like uh, equipment unit will come then structure unit will come, then piping unit will come. So we will create one unit system under this area. Okay. Again, right click on this area, then new system and then go to unit system. Then again, give some unit to here. Okay. Name, we are giving equipment unit. Okay. We have given this equipment unit, then click on this plus sign, then equipment menu unit will be created. Under this area, again, click, right click, new system, and again go to some unit system and then go to give some name structure unit click on okay. okay under this area again right click new system one more unit system under this name give name piping unit and click on okay okay these are different different units you can create under any system okay this is the area under this area this is equipment okay for creating any equipment we have to go to this task and click on this equipment and formation okay for creating any piping you have to go for this piping okay for any structure you have to go for this structure okay first of all we are creating an equipment unit so we will click on this equipment and formation now our window will change and this will appear okay after this under this equipment we can click on this these are all the shapes which we can create in this model okay and here are some options also this is see this is the copy option this is delete option this is move option we will see in further videos how to use these options okay till then thank you